Welcome to Akna Curry Castle. In this session, you'll learn some of the actions that are common to each and every one of your men, as well as the main overall actions. To select one man, you can click on him or else on his face at the edge of the screen. To select various men, right click on the scenario and then drag the pointer to trace a rectangle or click on their face at the edge of the screen while you keep the control key pressed. As you can see, when you select one man, in his backpack, you can see the various options that he has available at this time. This pointer, in the shape of an arrow, is the movement pointer. Click with it on any point of the scenario, and the men selected will head for that point. Double-click, and they will do it on the run. To make the selected men hit the ground, click on the appropriate icon at the edge of the screen. While they are face down, they will be able to crawl. To make them stand up again, click on the same icon once again. Very well, I believe this is the time to check your light weapons. All your men have a 9mm automatic pistol in their knapsack. Click on it to make it the active item. In general, click on an item in the knapsack to make it the active one. This will make the pointer change shape. The pointer indicates to us where we can and where we can't fire either because the target is too far away or else because there are obstacles in the way. If you wish to restore the movement pointer, just right click anywhere. To fire, simply click on the objective with a single man or with several at once. Notice that if we select various men in the knapsack, you can only see those options that are common to all of them. Excellent, let's move on to the vehicles. Your men can handle many different types of vehicles on land, on water and in the air. To do this, select the men that you wish to have board the vehicle and place the pointer over the desired vehicle. If the men you have selected can board this vehicle, the pointer will change shape. Click on the vehicle and your men will climb into it. Now you can move with it in the usual manner, clicking on the destination with the movement pointer. If you can't climb aboard a vehicle, then maybe it's occupied by the enemy or else you might be using the wrong man. If you wish to make a man get off a vehicle, click on the photograph in his knapsack. Your men can also hide inside specific buildings. If the movement pointer changes shape when it passes over the door, click on the door and your man will hide inside the building. To order him to get out, click on his photograph. Great! We can now go on to learn about the behavior of the enemy. Stationary or moving, alone or in patrols, they are constantly alert using both their sight and their hearing. An enemy soldier is always on the lookout. To find out where he is looking, click on him while keeping the shift key pressed. You can also click on the appropriate icon at the edge of the screen and then on the enemy you wish to observe. This colored area that fans out from the enemy soldier is his field of view. As you can see, the field of view is blocked by walls, rocks and other solid items. You will notice that the field of view is divided into two areas, a short range one and a long range one. If one of your men is caught in the long range field of view of an enemy soldier, your man will be located, unless he is laying on the ground. If he is caught in the short range view, then he will be located even if he is on the ground. All the enemies on the map have their fields of view. I remind you that the enemy is always alert to any suspicious occurrence. He will react not only if he discovers one of your men, but also if he sees a vehicle driven by you or discovers the body of a fellow soldier. Furthermore, enemy soldiers can do more than just see you. They can also hear you and investigate any suspicious sound. The capability of the enemy to hear the actions of your men will depend both on the distance of the sound as well as its intensity. An enemy soldier can hear your pistol at a range of just several dozen meters, but he will be able to hear the explosion of a grenade at a much larger distance. Let's use the cameras. Using the keys F2 to F7, you can select various styles of multiple cameras. When you have more than one camera on screen, click within one of the windows to select the active camera. You can make a camera follow a soldier or a vehicle, friend or foe, clicking on the camera that appears at the edge of the screen and then on the desired soldier or vehicle. Last lesson. You can pick up items, either stealing them from the enemy or picking up allied supplies dropped by parachute. Select a single man, click on the hand next to the knapsack and then on the item that you wish to pick up. Remember that each item can only be picked up by the man who is able to use it. Okay officer, that's all. I recommend that you see and practice the individual theory sessions of each of your men. That will be all. Thank you.